Alright, so there's been a few people telling me my take on my last video, the POW world is unethical and bad video, that my take is, like, wrong, I guess. And I apologize for that, I was just really worked up. Ah, just kidding, you thought I'd apologize for that? To me, this is crazy to even think. It takes me about 5 milliseconds to realize why POW World is a terrible game, but that's not really relevant here. Who I'm really concerned about, and not necessarily concerned for, but rather I'm afraid of what I might do, is the guy who left a particularly raunchy comment on my video. Stinky Male 69 420 and you know what your comment was, dude. I'm not even going to repeat it, and I sure as hell can't show it here, because it's that bad. I just I just can't believe I'm getting death threats over a video about Pal World. I mean, come on, guys, what the fuck? Stinky Mail 69420 I, you know, fuck this. I'm on blog TV with my hands up. I am not starting my fucking self. You fucking stupid bitch. This all fucking righteous fucking asshole. Wait a second. Uh, what was his username? Give me a sec, guys. This all fucking righteous fucking asshole, stinky male 69420, is doing this shit. You fucking asshole. I swear, I swear, man. It just, it really tells you where we're at as a society. Trump is still a free man, you know? Like a year ago, if you told me Trump was still free, I'd start asking how all the crimes against humanity he's committed have gone unchecked. I mean, the guy's worse than Hitler, right? Sorry guys, I don't mean to get into politics or anything, it's just, it's just been weighing on my mind lately, okay? As a thinking person, I know the only way forward in the US right now is to vote for Joe Biden, okay? And, you know, what? so what if he doesn't know how to put a construction hat on? He has more more important stuff to worry about, okay? Snopes didn't do anything wrong. Sorry guys, I'm sorry I'll stop. I don't want to get into politics in this video, okay? That's for another time. I'm just getting myself way too worked up. Anyway, I found an address related to the Pocket Pair Company. For those of you who don't know, they created Pow World, and I sent them a little present, okay? No, it's not a bomb or some crazy shit, you fucking freaks. Fuck, you guys are so fucking stupid sometimes, you know? Man, it's like no one gets me. I sent them a letter, okay? It's literally just a letter. Calm down. And no, I'm not going to dox them or send you their address, so don't bother asking. But anyway, I wanted to read the letter that I sent them because I think it might change some minds, and maybe one of you will think differently, and maybe understand my point a little better about Pal World. Dear Takuro Mitsubi, and by the way, this guy, Tak Takio Mit Matubishi, or whatever his name is, is the producer of the company that created Pal World. I'd just like to point that out. Dear Takuro Mitsubishi, I'm so sorry I was not your mother. Held in the arms of joyous light, never would this story's plight, the world unfurled before our eyes, a pure demise of a game sitting peaceful in the Steam store. If I was your mother, the game would have been great. So much laughter and joy, and nothing would harm. I can't imagine the stain, the soul-stealing pain, that the little boy that you must have seen and believed, and the formulation of thought quickly taught that you lived in a cruel and unjust world to make a project like Pal World. Is this why you now decide no one will get the best of you? Is this why you do not hide nor away shy from using AI to make this game? Was it because so early in life all that strife stracked you with fear? If I was your mother, if the world was cold, I would have died to make you warm. I would have died to protect you from the unjust, the violence, the terror, the uncertainty. I would have died to give you life, unlike the pals who you have struck with such strife. Oh dear Mr. Producer Mitsubishi, if only I had been your mother, perhaps the torture of unread AI would not within your heart imbue ascription to such fealty against the world that you thought was so cruel. Perhaps you would hold dear Pokemon life, and on this night instead of Pal World, you would call me and I would set your mind quite free with the love that only a mother can give and only a mother can take away. Whatever your story, Mitter... Whatever your story, Mr. Mitsubishi, I can't imagine how it feels in your heart, but I know that if I was your mother, that would have been a start. Toward the awareness of what a powerful being of light you could be if your mind was only free from the violence you've coded when you were just 25. I cannot believe I was born too late in a different place, going to get milk from the Circle K when I would have loved you so and watched you play wherever you go. Maybe then you would have not made such an abomination as Pal World. Sorry guys, holding back tears here, but yeah, that's... Man, that's all I've got. 